Well, now let's talk about something that happened really mostly in Naples. Uh, it happened, and uh, of course that was Caruso and Rosa Boncel's family was Neapolitan. She grew up speaking uh, Neapolitan dialect, and and uh, the most famous of the bel, the greatest of the bel canto tenors was uh, Fernando de Lucia, and they were, these guys were all Neapolitans. And if you know anything about their dialect, it's very much poco modisto See. So they had certain things that, that, that it sort of evolved out of their dialect when they had to learn Italian. Caruso couldn't speak Italian. He learned it uh, as he grew up. He learned to speak Italian. But they all speak dialect. Very strong dialect. Now, one thing you had to learn to do is that somehow they wanted to keep Italian pure, you know, uh, shall we say Florentine or, or Siena uh, Italian, what they call high Italian. They wanted to keep it they didn't want to give up completely the thing that made their natural sound, which was their natural phonation, from uh, the dialect they spoke. <clears throat> if I say, it's like, don't worry about it, forget about it, you got a problem, we'll take care of it. So I can sing with that kind of resonance all the time. How are you doing? See, you can sing with that resonance, but is it Italian? <laughs> Or is it some some offshoot of, of, of the Godfather or something? Who knows what that is? But the guys in, the, in southern Italy who all spoke these various dialects were very influent. Uh, that's why uh, uh, Giuseppe Di Stefano sang so open, sang very la because that was the way they did, uh, apparently that uh, Sicilian is spoken. I don't know any Sicilian, but that's what they tell me. And I believe that when they, some Italian tells me that, I believe it. I don't but the idea is that I can use all of these different phonations. Uh, they're all permittable, uh, per, what's that, allowable, if I don't flex this. So I can sing, la, 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 and it's still loose. And you're supposed to do it with breathing. You're supposed to inhale a, a, a smile. La, now, how do I do that? And what am I doing when I do that? Think about it. It sets up a certain formation. If I have a megaphone, let's say I've got a megaphone. It's really enlarging my sound. But I don't squeeze the megaphone like this all the time, trying to change the vowel forms and things. See? I'm going to try to keep my megaphone efficient by keeping everything the same and operating inside of that. So if I go, ah, oh, er, e, o, oh, u, oh, the, the megaphone doesn't change. See? So if I have a megaphone up here and I go, oh, that's my megaphone. See, if I breathe, have a smile when I breathe, I go, oh. now how do I get my words all lined up inside the megaphone? And they called it alignment of the vowels. We went through some of this. If you remember, we went through uh, the, the tone flowers on the lips. Do you remember that? Uh, the lips form a certain shape. You breathe. You go pa pa. Oh, how you do that's nice to see you. And you do your best to maintain the alignment because it maintains the resonance. Oh, I'm gonna go down now. I've got to get something to eat. We don't have any groceries in the house. How do I align my words, my vowels? Uh, they say that De Lucia's uh, performance of Amor Tivieta from Fedora is a great example of it. But uh, um, uh, what's his name? Uh, John McCormick uh, and Georges Thiel, the famous French tenor, the most famous French tenor, really, T H I L L, Georges Thiel. Uh, and they study with De Lucia. And you listen to the way they sing, how they align their vowels. It's really amazing, you know? Everything is. Everything stays in alignment. Nothing does this. All of the covering and all the vowel modification, throat modification, all break every cotton picking rule there was in the old school. Don't forget, De Lucia was called the greatest of the bel canto tenors. And then you start having some verismo tenors, tenors that uh, did the true to life blood and guts uh, operas. You know, in, in Pagliacci, the tenor murders his wife and her lover. See? 
So and and even even in Cavalleria, he, the the tenor's running off to to fight a duel where he knows he's going to die. So he comes and says goodbye to his mother first. But the idea is that that they use a different different methods. We can talk about the Barismo vocal style and the Belcondo vocal style because they're very different. The 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 Belcondo style was all about alignment. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, alignment. And what do I do with my breath? No. Hear that? La 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 la. All my vowels are in one line. La la la. How do I get my vowels going through one megaphone without any changes? If I can do that, the voice is, makes it very, very smooth in the audience. And to be able to do that, I have to maintain, maintain a sort of an even emission. It's very hard to go like that and maintain the same perfect alignment. The voice wants to react and open and get power or something. See? <laughs> if you're doing... Uh, I don't know, a lot, a lot of music that you can do. If you're doing Cello e Mar, right? The tenor's going Cello e Mar. Let's see if I can do it. I saw it with this. And then I go, Cello e Mar, let it all the night. I mean, you are allowed to breathe. I forgot to breathe. But you are allowed to breathe. It does make sense just because you had a long breath that you sing without breathing. Breathing is also it's also musical and part of phrasing and, and and changing expressions and moods. So don't do as I do. Do as I say do. Okay. So the idea is if I'm going to line my vowels, think about what that means. See, uh, you've got uh, let's say I've got um, Bohem third act or, or or another one is Lucia last act. See, I've got. Oh, bell'alma e marata. How am I going to line that on high notes? I'm going to go and cover and, go, and modify my throat. Are you kidding? See? Breathe. Oh, bell'alma e marata. Bell'alma e marata. How are you today feeling fine? Let's go down to get something to eat. It's harder in English. Yeah. Was wollen wir jetzt machen mit unserem Stadtgeld? Amen, was zu essen kaufen? But it can still be done. And I don't know Russian. I know a few phrases in Russian. But I don't really speak it, see. Guck, wie man die Freunde und war ja alle schon. I've no reason why I can't sing and, and, and align my vowels all the time. But what does it require? Think about it. Because breathing. See? There's no action up here to cause a reaction to stimulate the diaphragm. You're on your own up there. So you cannot do anything that would change the set of the, of the, the let's say, the posture of the breath. I'm going to breathe behind me. I'm going to lean my breath over against my, uh, in this case, I'll put on my sternum, like a ladder against the wall, and I go, oh, And the lean of the breath right here holds everything under control while I'm not doing anything to make an action which would cause a reaction which would change that. See? So how do we do this? What the heck are we doing? We're, we're learning how to speak in a way that isn't all over the place. You know? I mean, where I come up, they say, Hi ye! Hi ye, danger, Nazi ye! And the voice is all over the place. Right? It comes from Irish. Hi ye, top of the mind, and towards your father. See, so all the people that went down there were either Irish or Scots or well, uh, well, so the Welsh actually do it better. So, you know, the Welsh says, "How are you doing, John You want to go down and get something to eat?" And then you got the Scots who say, "Yeah, you, you can sit out if you want to, but I'm, I'm not going to stay here. I'm going to go out." See, I'm going to go out. I'm going to stay here. Put the damn water on the stove and let it boil. So there are all these uh, accents that come from all over the world. That's the beauty of America. Is that we're a country of immigrants, and we've got everybody and everything here represented. And we want everybody to have an equal chance to be represented, don't we? Yeah. See? And then I can hear the greatest voices <laughs> in the world that come out through all these wonderful people. But if I'm doing, uh, uh, you know, what's a good example? Uh, <laughs> 
gioielli, due ladri gli occhi belli. How do I align all those vowels? It's just one little notch more to the, the tone flowers on the lips, which is a much more, even more elegant uh, technique. I'm not sure it sounds that different, but the effect is different to the public. I don't know why, see? Uh, so I Tutti gioielli, due ladri gli occhi belli. It, it does impose alignment on my phonation process if I keep everything flowering on the lips the whole time. Those of you who go, oh, and all of this stuff, let's face it, you're destroying your phonation completely. You're pulling the voice back. And then you have to go, ah, and, 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 and do all that stuff to get the voice back up in the front. It's like turning the megaphone around backwards. In fact, I even have a megaphone. Look over here. Look at this. Let me show you this. Oh, look at this. How is this thing supposed to work? See? Does it work like this? Is that what I'm supposed to do? I'm supposed to make space in the back. And then... Is that the way I'm supposed to do it? You tell me which one is... is I hate to use the word natural. The natural way to babies go, ah, ah, ah. babies don't go, ah, oh, 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 or something. They don't do all that stuff. I've had four of them, two girls and two boys. They're beautiful. They're still beautiful, right? So how do I do this? If I'm going to line my vowels, see? In vain, in vain, in la mia vera tortura. If I do that with flowering of the lips, I get in van, in van, nascondo la mia vera tortura. So anyway, I thought we would discuss that a little bit um, and let you think about it a little bit. All it requires is deep, 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 deep breathing way down so that your whole process relaxes and your throat relaxes all the way down. And then you, you, you do... Uh, depending on how deep your breathing gets, uh, your phonation will get deeper and you'll get so that you're more and more relaxed and you can get down and get into a, uh, a deeper. So that's why so many of the great singers start off as lyric singers and then voices got bigger and bigger and bigger over a long career. Well, we got sunshine here in the Seattle area. Holy cow, everybody's going crazy. Everybody be outside. Sure, I better run outside and let it hit me real quick. Well, maybe I'll get one vitamin D. Who knows? But the idea is, when you're doing this, ba 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 ba. What's my resonance when I do this? I'm gonna line this well. Ba 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 So I'm using ba, which closes my nose, and then I'm aligning my vowels. Ba 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 If I flower in the lips. Again, ba 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 You won't believe the difference between those in the theater, by the way, over a big orchestra. And that's something you have to work out almost uh, through, uh, through experience. That's why it's important for the, 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 the young singers to understand you really have to take advice from somebody who's been there and done that. Don't take advice from people who've never sung. People don't know. They can't imagine what it means. Stay on the stage with a 130-piece orchestra and sing for five and a half hours and be a success. Someday I'll show them all my reviews. I'll say, can you do this? <laughs> the, the whole idea is that when you're singing, you know, you've got... Uh, my singer has... <laughs> For kids on your birthright, of leaves and darkness on none, to song as he give on none, for noise on paradise. Imagine lining your vowels up like that for five and a half hours. Actually, five hours and 20 minutes. Uh, the, the baritone sings the last story, but the tenor sings right before that, right over there. He sings the first, tenor sings the first note and almost the last note. 
So you better know what you're doing, guys, and don't take advice from people who've never done it. You know, you know, we work coaches say, don't breathe, don't breathe, just be natural. Oh yeah? What if I don't breathe? <laughs> what is it in my voice? Are you a spinto voice? If you're not a spinto voice, you should be using a spinto method. What does spinto mean? It comes from spingery, to push. Here I am with my rib cage, I didn't breathe. All right, now my, my, I'm empty, or I feel empty. The only way I can get the air out is to squeeze or to push. In English, better trans or in English we translate better to squeeze. But the truth is, the air's got to come out, you can't make a sound. So I go like this. Now I'm dead. Bang. See, I'm not swelling anything. And now I'm going to do this again. In other it makes my voice go, ah, ah, ah. Is that the sound you want? Well, if you have the right kind of voice, you can sing that way. And it's very effective. The best one that I ever heard was Giovanni Martinelli, and I heard him when he was 77, <laughs> right? And he taught me this method. This, this, this is the old Spinto method. And uh, they didn't even use that until all those more modern operas started getting produced, strictly uh, late Verdi, and uh, then with, of course, Pagliacci and all those operas more dramatic. Then they, 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 they started squeezing. And uh, they didn't want that much more lyric round sound. They wanted something that had more bite and more desperation in it, right? Whoop. So if I go, I breathe. Now what am I gonna do? See, I'm gonna align my vowels for it. Time to recover. <laughs> now, if I flower at the lips, I get. So there are all these possibilities. I'm, I'm, it's too early in the morning. I'm too tired. <laughs> I think I'm over like I'm taking a nap now. <clears throat> I'm going to go outside with the sunshine. Anyway, I hope that will give you at least a couple of ideas. The idea is to learn to do nothing up here. We're talking about one of the tastes of establishing your residence. Bob, 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 bob. How do I, how do I uh, match that? It's got to go up here, not a lot. That won't match the resonance if I do that. See? I think I just fainted. <laughs> All right, guys, I hope this has helped and give you something to think about. It's all done throatless, jawless, and tongueless with huge breathing down your lower back. If you don't breathe, you better have a spindle voice or it's going to wreck your voice. See? Don't do it. See that? La, la, ah, ah, la, say, come on, ya, ah. See what it sounds from? See? Okay. Okay. Hope you enjoy. Bye.